All right, everybody. Yesterday in my YouTube short that I made, I promised you guys that I would show off some of the things that I have made um, over the um, past, well, technically I made both of these things yesterday. So these are really fun things that I found on Thingiverse. This is a little pegboard holder. I made this for my dad so he can put it on his pegboard out in the shop. Um, it it kind of just hooks in there and then I can hold things. I printed it at 20% fill density and it seems to be strong enough. But yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. It's not that big, but it's big enough for most things. Um, this here is a little bunny that I made for my sister. It's an origami bunny. Um, I also found this on Thingiverse. And if I remember when uploading the video, I will put the, both the links to these Thingiverse items in the description. So you guys can print them on your own printer if you have any. Um, but yeah, these are really fun. Thank you to the two creators that made these two items. Um, I really like all the people on Thingiverse for what you guys make out there. Um, what you guys manufacture for 3D printers. For people like me that um, are still learning how to actually design our own things. I have designed some of my own things before. And Tinkercad, if you guys have ever used that. But yeah, that's what I designed in. I really can't get over how cool this um, bunny is. It's like completely like something you'd make out of an origami. But um, maybe I'll make a video showing you guys how these things print. Because when I was printing this, like, it's really cool how it makes, like, it makes, like, a honeycomb inside. Like, you'd see in a, like, a honeycomb or sometimes, like, you see at the bottom of an ice cream cone. Like, there's a grid pattern. That's this entire thing. Like, anything inside of here, it's all grid. And that's done um, by the program that I use. It manufactures and figures out how it's going to do it. And then the 3D printer will print it. So, yeah, it's really cool how it does this. But this only took like three hours to print. This guy took like an hour and a half because of how small they are. But yeah, it was really fun. Um, I'll have, I have some other things that I also printed. I'll go to that clip next. All right, I found the rest of the things that I printed last night. This is actually what took the longest. This took six hours. This is a guitar, like a wall mounted guitar um, holder. And it's intended to like be screwed up um, there on the wall. And then your guitar sits on the top part. And then these little, um, grooves will hold the guitar picks it actually works quite well with my guitar i haven't put it up yet i've just tested it um this here is a little egg holder you put you sit it like that and then you can put an egg in there um i assume it's for things like when you're doing e when you're making easter eggs like something like that or if you want to display like we have chickens here um and sometimes they'll lay like blue and green eggs maybe if you wanted to show off like a special green egg you could put it in there something really cool i thought <laughs> Um, I had to print it like this so that it was easier for it to do it. And it's, um, my printer does make some little, like, messes on it because it moves so fast. I can probably, I have, I have an option to slow it down on there. I might do that next time. But yeah, it's really cool how it, what it does there. Um, how it does all the little imprints and able to make that. I mean, it could probably, like, sand it down. It's not too bad, though. I mean, you can probably see some, like, inside of the bunny ear. Focus. I see you like right there and over there. Yeah, those are some funny things. Like you can even see some on here, but to be honest, um, it does quite well. Like here you can see some, it's mostly like this thing printed like this. So I can mostly see like without any supports, it's gonna have some little bits of issues, but it did, so it did really good inside of here. Like there's like no mistakes. I gotta focus on it. There's like no um, errors. Or mistakes inside of there it's really it did it really well i mean this guy this guy looks really nice um sorry with the focus um yeah this one turned out quite nice but yeah all of them look really good i think um with how they all turned out and i do have some more things maybe i'll make a video i'm i'm continuing to print more stuff and maybe i'll do some more colors like i have blue purple green black gray and white those are my colors that i have i'm actually thinking um to buy some more colors for them but yeah it's really fun what i've already made i'm definitely going to keep making videos on 3d printing because i don't know if you guys like them leave them in the comments down below or like this video if you guys like to see 3d printing stuff i sure like enjoy making videos about these i also like watching them and seeing the after product of how it does it's kind of like having your own factory inside of your house it's really cool but yeah these are the four things that i made yesterday um some of these things i think um this i actually made two days ago but yeah these are all things that i printed so far um you guys have seen some of the youtube shorts of them being printed now you can see all four of them lined up all the four things that i put in the youtube shorts um yeah 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to Ethan's journal. We're trying to make it to 100 subscribers by the end of this year since you didn't make it last year. But let's get to 100 subscribers. So share this video with your friend. Share Ethan's journal with your friend. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, everybody, and goodbye.